Mike McCarthy. Oh, Mike McCarthy, current head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Mike McCarthy's doing a lot of chatting, obviously, at the Combine. Mandatory press conferences for every coach and every general manager. Also, every Combine uh, participant has one, so we hear a lot from a lot of people. Mike McCarthy was asked a lot about last year, and if you do recall, Kellen Moore was let go. He's now with the Chargers, and Mike McCarthy will be taking over the play calling duties. Because as soon as Mike McCarthy got back, we assumed that Jerry hired him for the offensive guru that he is, and that he would be calling plays. So when his uh, regime started at Dallas, and it was not going well, and he was not calling plays, everybody was like, well, what the fuck is this guy doing? Mm -hmm. What is Mike McCarthy doing? He got pounded, especially because he's the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. It's going to be on prime time every single weekend. Everybody's going to talk about you. He was getting murdered. Then they start having some success. They start going. Kellen Moore is all of a sudden a head coaching candidate because he's calling plays for Dak Prescott. Obviously being brought into question a lot on how much they run, how much they pass, how it all goes. Mike now, in an effort, I believe, to save his tenure as the Dallas Cowboys head coach, will take over the play calling duties. He had a lot to say about last year's operation when he talked about Kellen Moore and said this. Yep. I just think like anything, um, you know, everybody has plays, everybody has concepts. You know, we, we we're, every every player and coach, you have tendencies in this league. Uh, you're, you're ignorant to think that you don't. Um, you know, and it'll be no different for myself. Um, but, you know, it's just how, how you attack on the other side. So uh, there's some things that conceptually that, that I'll believe in more in situational football than, than may have happened in the last, you know, three years. But, you know, I mean, let's, let's be honest. I mean, you know, um, I had all the input that I wanted the last three years, too. So I, I think clearly when you look at the way Kellen coordinated in 19, um, I mean, just look at our run totals the last three years. You know, it, you know we, were dif- we were a different offense in 22 than we were in 2020. And, and that was part of the evolution of being more balanced, more complementary football, um, not as wide open in the, in the, in the drop back, just like our drop back passing in normal down. So, you know, you look at all those things. So, uh, but I'm really looking forward to the critique from you uh, of, of how, how different it is. So. So down at the bottom there, it says, throw some shade, right? And that happens a lot. When somebody posts a video, their tweet is setting the tone for you to watch this, right? And things can be taken different ways from people. So if it says, throw some shade at Kellen Moore, people can obviously find him in that statement, throwing shade at Kellen Moore. There was another quote, though, Mm -hmm. that only got tweeted that we couldn't find a video of. So this is all alleged, but Machota, John Machota is a... Heavy swinger. Yeah. He is a very powerful player in the reporting game, especially for the Cowboys. I believe he's for the Athletic yeah. for the Cowboys. Yep. Mike McCarthy spoke highly of his time with Kellen Moore. He said the Cowboys' former OC did a hell of a job and continued to improve over the last three years. But it's clear they had their differences. This quote from today explains some of that. We have not been able to find a video of this particular mm-hmm. quote on Twitter and on our sites. I've been where Kellen has been. Kellen wants to light the scoreboard up. But I want to run a damn ball so I can rest my defense. I think when you're a coordinator, you know, but you're in charge of the offense. Being a head coach and being a play caller, you're a little more in tune with it all. I don't desire to be the number one offense in the league. I want to be the number one team in the league with a number of wins and championships. And if we got to give us some production and take care of the ball better to get that, then that's what we'll do because we have a really good defense. So that's Mike McCarthy, and they're saying he's taking – and it does sound like he's certainly taking a shot like Cohen wants to the scoreboard up as if you're to read it, as if he's saying, like, this guy's ego's in check. But Mike McCarthy's saying, hey, I've been in this dude's shoes. Like, when you're an offensive coordinator and you want to be a successful coach in the NFL, you want to have success so you can become a head coach, like, you are going to be judged on how many points your offense puts up. Kellen Moore, former quarterback – could potentially fall in love with the pass game like people do when they're playing Madden. So I don't think he was taking a shot at him anywhere in any of those things. I think Mike McCarthy was just being like, I've been there, this is how it is, and this is what Kellen Moore did, the facts are the facts. Did you get a shot out of that? And you know him a lot better than me. That's how I took it. I'm sorry to be long-winded. Had to set the entire situation up, though. No, I'm glad you did because I, I, I saw this, and you're right, like a headline can definitely change how you view something. If, you, if the headline never said that, First off, less people would have clicked on it. They wouldn't watch it if it didn't have that headline to get you to make yeah, it. Yeah, we oh, do what did quick fady shit, though, too. Yeah, so we, yeah we, everybody does. Yeah, we're I part of the problem. We're part of the problem. I'm not upset at how, how that works, but if it didn't 
if I didn't watch that with it saying, hey, according, he, he threw some shade at him, I don't know if I would have picked it up. I don't know if I would have been like, oh, that's terrible. You hear what he said about Kellen Moore? I don't think I would have thought it was a big deal. Diggs, this quote that was tweeted was the biggest one, I think, that he that potentially was could have thrown shade at him, but it wasn't in that video. That no, no, no. That was like the headlines where it said, like, throw shade was all about that quote. It was like, for some reason, we couldn't find the video. Um, because it would have been it would have been nice to know how he was saying it. Like, because in the other video, he definitely wasn't. But like when he was saying those things, it would have been nice to know like his like how he was speaking about it. As somebody who has read statements that have been made on this show mm -hmm. lately, yeah, sure. Just reading it, you know, if you put it in the tense of like malicious, you know, like the caption of the tweet is malicious, mm -hmm. and then put the quote out there, and you just read it. You're not hearing it, no. seeing it, a lot of context right. falls feeling by the it or Very anything different. like that. Just from our experience. Now, mm -hmm. there's obviously many other examples. It's a vastly different game. We have to remember that because we're in that era, right? This is the time of year when a lot of this type of stuff happens. So I would like to make an official ruling. I don't think he was throwing shade at Kellen mm -hmm. Moore. And I don't think Kellen Moore will think that he was throwing shade at him. Do you? No, and I, I think it, when you actually read, like when you read that, it makes sense. Like the philosophy, hey, Kellen's a coordinator. Coordinators want to, their job is, hey, let's go, let's go fast, let's score points, let's do this. If you're the head coach and you're thinking of everything as a whole, like offense, defense, special teams, you're thinking, hey, we got to slow the game down here a little bit. Let's protect this thing. Let's find a way to not create as many turnovers offensively. So yeah, it's just almost like a, it's just like a philosophy difference, basically. And Kellen's former player, you know, yep, Kellen's had things said to him mm -hmm. probably that have been. Yeah. Actual shade. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, and I, I assume he has incredibly thick skin. He's a quarterback, and now he's getting into the coaching business. I don't think he's taking any offense to any of it. No, I mean, it's good. that's good news, I think, for the world, mm -hmm. society. Yeah. And obviously they had different, you know, philosophies at the end because he would still be with the Cowboys if that wasn't the case. And the team has changed a little. Like, what if the philosophy was, hey, uh, Mike, you didn't win. Everybody wants me to fire you. Yeah. You know how this game goes. Th yeah. That's literally what the coaching business is, AJ. Is it not? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do you want to you wanna give yourself an extra year extension and see if you can make things work? Well, and for Kellen, too, like that's what going to L.A. and the Chargers, like it's kind of a perfect setup because yeah. like their offense is built yeah. to do that, to throw it all around the fucking yard and score a bunch of points. And, you know, like, I mean, that, that was kind of the knock on them last year was, hey, they throw it way too much. If they would have run the football a little bit more in that playoff game against the Jags, they might have won. To just – to piece it all together here, and then we'll move on. Okay. I've been where Kellen's been before. Mm -hmm. He wants to light up scoreboard. I had Aaron Rodgers in my fucking corner. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. think I want to just light up scoreboard, but we got good defense over there. A.J. Hawk, mm -hmm. that Ohio fucks over there. We want to do that. You know, I've been where Kellen is being, and I was already a head coach. Kellen wants to become a head coach. Definitely wants to light up scoreboard. Tom Telesco, why'd you hire Kellen Moore? The numbers speak for themselves. Yeah. yeah. So that's literally everything mm -hmm. that is being explained by Mike McCarthy. Like, hey, the reason why Kellen wants to do this is because he wants to have success here and, you know, elevate. And Big Mike's like, hey, it, yeah, hey, if you go to a team that doesn't have as good a defense as we have, you're going to need to do that and like the scoreboard up, maybe be playing from behind, and we don't want to be that too. Well, yeah, I like that Quinn had the backwards hat too. He's still Florida Dan yeah. yep. after leaving Atlanta yeah. and becoming the Dallas Cowboys D coordinator. They do have some monsters on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, dogs. I mean, Mike Parsons, defensive player of the year candidate, but also when you look at the Cowboys, like their most exp explosive player this year was Tony Pollard. Yep. It's like, hey, they probably wanted to give him more carries and maybe, you know, Kellen was leaning Leaning towards the pass game because they also have dogs in the pass. Game. It would be tough, right? I, I've never I played Madden a couple of times. I've suffered embarrassing losses and said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I'm not doing this anymore because uh, these aren't good. Mm -hmm. These these things aren't good." Didn't you play against Two Chains on some live stream event? No, no, no Katie, Katie Nolan. Katie Nolan beat the shit out of chains. me in that game. Uh, oh, we, we were, were cheating. We were too. trying to cheat too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How are you cheating? Uh, he was screen watching, I believe. Yeah, they had some, something that they had set up. It was really <laughs> weird. We could see her plays while she was picking them, so we oh, could kind of you know, adjust defense. But if you don't know how to, you don't, it yeah, doesn't matter. Good luck. Yeah, still got to stop them. Yeah, yeah, 